What's up YouTube? This is Ozzy92591 again. And this is my Atomic Barbed Wire 17 boat. So, if you don't know anything about this boat, I gotta tell you, it is very fun. And it is a very excellent beginner boat. Because I gotta tell you, with the self right um, ability, <laughs> it makes, uh, makes life a lot nicer. Especially when you're out in the middle of the lake and it flips and your boat flips over and that water is cold and you do not feel like jumping in there. Anyways, aside of the fact, this boat is just awesome and it has a lot a lot of potential. But one one big factor in it is what's known is that the ESCs in these are known to just go out. They short out or burn out or something. I think mine burned out because I'm pretty sure that, you know, if I look at this rust over here, if you can, I get the light in there just right. And there you go, you kind of see a little rust in there. And Anyways, it got, it just, it burnt, it burnt up and there's nothing I could do about it. I don't feel like sending the... And it, sending it out to the company and trying to get it replaced and blah blah blah. And so, time for upgrades. ACRC on the way to help. Grab this right here. This is a 40 amp ESC with a BEC in it. I see another guy with a, that gave this helpful tip. And I'm going to share this helpful tip with everybody else. Come on, focus right there. Perfect. All right, this 40 amp ESC that's just a little bit smaller than this guy. Fits very perfectly in the front of the hull. All right, so I'm using the stock motor. I went ahead and upgraded my receiver. Put a Spectrum waterproof one in here. SR200 waterproof. Went ahead and put a 2065 Traxxas waterproof servo in here because the stock one which worked great and unfortunately died out too. Got some water it got some water in it and uh, what can I say? It wasn't waterproof. So upgraded that as well. Put a servo saver on it. Did the job. Also put a 17-inch catamaran uh, Miss Geico boat propeller on here and it works great I gotta tell you just put a little bit of electrical tape on the shaft to fill the gap and because it's plastic I got it to fit just perfectly right there in the middle and it doesn't move at all and I've had no problems with it now what I noticed too is that the boat likes to sit on the side a little bit leaning to the left so what I did is I modified this tie down strap and made it so that the battery will actually stand up. What I actually did to the battery as well is I, I put some uh, Velcro on the battery along right here and on the bottom side of the of the battery so that I can get this strap to go over here and keep it nice and secure towards the middle of the boat. That will keeps the boat more centered for better stability in the water. Next thing I would like to do eventually, I'd like to get a better water outlet. They could have done a better job with this. I mean, come on. But, you know, whatever. I can find one. Maybe put a Spartan one on there or find one. I don't know. Don't really like it. But, you know, I'm going to deal with it for now. So anyways, this is my boat. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it was some useful information about this boat that, you know, if you're looking to upgrade it, these are some things to put in it. Um, I had Atomic tell me that this motor will take the 40 amp ESC no problem. If you're trying to use 4 cell though, just don't do it. You'll burn out the motor. Well, you you gotta have to change out the motor for that good stuff. But even then, that's just way. I think that would be way crazy amount of power for this boat. But hey, you know, I'm throwing this 40 amp in here. What are you going to do? Alright guys, later.